Hello and welcome to Hawk's Eye View. Today we're gonna go through and be unboxing the LTT screwdriver. I ordered this thing back on August 30th of 2020 and I received it just this last week. So, got this thing opened up. The packaging is plenty, it's all the bubble wrap, which is great. And when we pull it out, we can see I went and got the custom black with the black shaft as well. We got some stickers, and then I also went and bought the specialty screwdriver set. So we'll take a look at this a little bit later on, but the packaging is nice. You can see the different tips that comes with it. So with, for now, we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. Uh, the sticker pack, hey, it's kind of interesting. Love stickers, love stickering things. So when we take a look at these guys, come in a nice little sticker pack. They list the different stickers that are there on the back with the right to repair, LTT logo, and such. But this is focusing on the screwdriver itself. So let's go take a look at the specialty bits to start off with, because hey, why not? So these nice little tabbed areas that you can go through, get your thumb inside to be able to grab and flip these up. So from here, we can see the specialty bits. For now, we're just gonna package those back and actually unpack the screwdriver with this matte finish and then the glossy outline looks pretty sick so i've not bought any other ltt merch in the past i have watched a couple of his videos off and on throughout the years and let's see how this looks so after we get things opened up uh, the uh presentation starts upside down but hey whatever that's fine we've got the different types of bits kit sets that you can get including Torx, Imperial, Metric, Phillips, and the specialty kit that I went and picked up. So with the screwdriver, it actually comes with the standard kit, which comes in this little black case. As you go through and open it up with this little flap, you can go through and see the different bits that come with it by default, which are shorter bits, but they are Phillips, you've got some hex, you've got flathead, you've also got square, and a strong magnet on the very end compared to your specialty bit kit set that you can pick up with the hex head, the smaller screwdriver bits, and the specialty U-bits on the far side. The Linus Tech Tip screwdriver is actually built around the Mega Pro's driver in the center. And what the claim to fame is, is that this is a fantastic mechanism on the inside and it sounds great. So they worked on this quite a bit so it wasn't too sharp sounds great and the great thing is depending on where you're holding it you have a great area to go through and grip this including having all your bits here in the back so with that let's keep on moving on and let's actually load this thing up with all of the bits that it comes with so we can check to see if there's anything else in the box nothing so we'll go ahead and put the box box off to the side so you can actually see the outline of their box design which is pretty sick so we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. So these work with the shorty or uh, 20 millimeter bits or a full six bit sizes. You can actually twist this top part here and they will go on. In this case, you can see me going through and loading up the 12 shorty bits and it'll go all the way around. Much like your iFixit kits of the world or such, iFixit has a great top that you're able to put your hand on and spin the rest of the ratchet or the rest of the screwdriver and be able to tighten things up. This is just at a much larger scale with that ratcheting feedback as where the iFixit kits are usually much smaller for their screwdrivers but have that spinning top. So as you snap this in place, the top will spin independently of the handle itself, which is great, but you also have this knurling which is on the high neck of the screwdriver. So depending on where you hold it, you can actually tighten this thing up fairly easily and then pull this out to grab your different bits that you need to swap things out with. I'm gonna start using this for building my PCs and we'll report back later on how I like it. With that, like and subscribe.